Okay, so what I was uh, wanting to show is the use of instancing. But uh, there's a couple different ways to do it, it turns out. Um, in fact, there's probably a lot of different ways to do it, but this is one way. Um, I set all the positions right here um, for basically the one... Well, I'll just show you. Let's, let's go like this. Let's say we're just going to draw one. Okay, so the mode GL triangles. Okay. First, zero, count is six. Okay, so six vertices. We're going to comment that out. Okay, computer, does that compute? Let's just compile it and run it. So we have the one tri one square right down here. Six vertices, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And, yeah. So then... If we change that up to draw arrays instanced, and then we're sending to the vertex shader this number as well, because the call is identical first, and then the count, and then the number of instances. Well, what the vertex shader receives is um, this GL instance ID gets populated inside the shader. So that's going to go from, I believe, 1 to 10. I don't know if it goes from 0 to 9. Don't quote me on that one. <laughs> don't want to know. I'm just kidding. Um, so there's that. Um, and then basically, well, I'll just show you what happens when we do that. Okay, we have to recompile, blah, blah, blah. See, then we get 10 squares. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And that is the basis for uh, one way that you can do instancing. So <clears throat> stay tuned for more on this because I'm going to experiment with this in the background and uh, put together another couple videos probably here tonight within the next hour. Um, but I am getting kind of tired so I may head off to bed. Um, but anyways, be sure to like and subscribe. Tell your friends, family, and uh, co-workers. <laughs>